yes, darling. <laughs> you know, the last time you did this was in my the early 90s. Oh, really? When we were well. young and beautiful and first in love. <laughs> now we're not uh, beautiful anymore. No, we're just old and beautiful and still in love. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, the question, I guess, is what is it? <laughs> what is this? I think it's come quite far from, from the um, dryer mint that you identified it as early in the stages. Yes. It, okay. <laughs> but this yeah. is the back side. This is the less pretty side. This is years of dryer lint. I'm, dry, that, I'm uh, drying the back side right now. And then I'll turn it over and, and, and dry the front side and do some finishing work on it. So this is like goat hair, sheep wool, silk, llama, buffalo, poodle, um, silkworm cocoons. It has a bunch of different natural fibers in it. And I layered them and um, just kind of organically created the design. I didn't like plan it out ahead of time. And then I felted it, which for those of you who don't know, has to be natural fibers. And with the application of heat, water, like hot water, a little bit of soap and um, friction, the fibers start locking together and become one piece instead of separate fibers. And it becomes really resilient um, in theory, but <laughs> I had some trouble because I think some of the fibers from my stash from years ago, this is all hand dyed by the way, or natural color. Um, maybe one didn't work as well as others. And so it didn't felt a hundred percent. So I had to go in and troubleshoot and um, took a lot longer and a lot more work than I had thought it would. It's huge, it's eight feet by five feet. So it was hard to manipulate something that big. And um, the weight of it, 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 it had trouble carrying its own weight when it was wet because it was really heavy. And so I do have some gaps, which I'm debating whether to keep or or fill in and you know i like to kind of honor the, the 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 fiber and what it wants to do because you can't really control everything with felting it's like it is a very organic process and the fiber has a mind of its own and it does things that you might not want it to do and sometimes those things are awesome and it comes out even better than you thought and other times uh it can be um, a bit of a problem, so I, I've kind of been troubleshooting the past few days to get this where it needs to be. So this is drying, and then tomorrow I'll flip it over, and you can see the the other side, which is the more colorful side. And I'll probably just do some needle felting, finishing touches to it, and then it's going to be hung on my wall. Any human? Human hair? Yeah. Probably some of mine. Yeah, Inadver inadvertently <laughs> yeah. have human hair in it. Probably in there somewhere, yeah.